Hey YouTube, uh, this is Cesar Herna. I'd like to share with you uh, how you can draw your entire life in one page. Past, present and future. Um, I just did a workshop today uh, with many students and several of them has, uh, have asked me to do a video tutorial so they can do it by, by themselves uh, in their own time at home in, in a common environment. I've never done uh, personal development videos before and so that's not a scam or like a internet like business and so everything is in this video and you can use it and you know it's it's a free information so um, over the past years um, I have developed and simplified this visualization method uh, to help myself to make hard decisions such as um, choosing my field of studies managing my career but also resolve issues with my families or relationships and every time uh, using this method uh, of visualization has helped me to clarify my situation and help me make uh, help me make me more confident and uh, make more meaning and and build a more meaningful life for myself um, the one the ones around me and hopefully uh, the world so let's do this um, so now it's a complicated visuals that you're seeing now but I'm going to explain to you step by step I'm using using Google drawing here uh, because it's easier for you to read on the screen because my handwriting is not so good and um, I recommend that you start with a simple pen and paper so you're gonna take a blank page and draw in the middle a line and going to write the date of today and right now then you write almost at the top of the page uh, the year that you were born and you can put in parentheses your, 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 that's the birth and at the bottom of the page is the year you well, you, you don't know when you're going to die but you know, maybe let's say that you're going to live a hundred years good next, so by now you should have a, a page that looks like this and uh, so now I'm going to zoom in and at the top of the image you're going to add four categories top left, education or job uh, then passions with an S if you <laughs> if you have many passions, people, and locations location that places where you have been living or places where you have been traveling. Good, and then you want to uh, draw a timeline. So say um, if I didn't have very busy childhood, I can fit maybe like I'm I'm 30 years old, so maybe I can fit you know my 21st years in just one third of, of the of the half top of the page and the rest of the half top of the page will be for the last 10 years which have been uh, the busiest for me between my 20s and my 30s so it doesn't it, it doesn't have to be regular if you are the opposite and you have a very uh, busy childhood then you may uh, and, uh, and a very uh, settled uh, adulthood then you may have a, a busy uh, no, upper part which is would become more dense uh, so I'm going to uh, take my own life uh, as an example uh, to explain you how to fill in that this grid, and I won't speak too much in the details about my, about, about my own stuff, but just to so you understand what you want to fill in the gaps. So I start by the left column, which is education and job, because that's probably the the easiest to remember uh, on the top of your head. So I. Uh, I just went to a normal local school, public schools, and then I, I went to get my... Uh, so that was in, in France. Then I went to the Bull School, which is a craftsman school, uh, where I developed this technique, actually, because I wanted to decide what, what I would continue studying. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to continue study craft or something else. Then I continued and studied design uh, in different institutions in, in France and in the UK. Then I applied for my master's degree, uh, at the Royal College of Art and Design and Interactions and then I was lucky to be selected as a TED Fellow and went to work at MIT and now I have my own company that's called Prote after I left MIT okay so that's your education and job so uh, what I recommend is that you pause the video and uh, you feel that column for yourself so feel the education and job uh, for yourself so when you're done please play again Good. So now you have your education and job up to today. And uh, the point here is maybe, well, maybe there's some things that you want to change about your job. And so we're going to use all the other things in the next column to feed uh, that, that, that information. So uh, let's continue by what's most straightforward and doesn't require too much like self uh, introspection. 
and there will be well the places you've you've been living or 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 you've been traveling. So in my case, I was born in the south of France in Bayonne, and then we moved to uh, Saint Malo, uh, which is in Brittany. And because my father is Japanese, I I also had some education in Japan, and we moved to Paris then, uh, where I studied, uh, you know, my undergrad. And when I was a student, I was uh, I was very keen on traveling, so I did many trips in mostly around Europe. And then I went to get my master's degree, like I was saying before, at the RCA in London. And then, uh, so actually, <laughs> I used for the first time uh, this graphic method as my CV when I applied for my master's degree, and it it worked. <laughs> I got in. And so the reason I got in is because with this method, you can show all the stuff that you that you like or the places you've been in a very uh, synthetic way. So people, they don't need to read through a boring CV, they can just look at one image and they get kind of what you're made of or, or, or how you became to be that, that person. But anyway, so uh, after I moved to Nairobi and moved to and worked in, in Kenya for a bit, then I moved to Boston to work at MIT, and then I moved to New Orleans to work on the BP oil spill, and that's when I started my, my company, which is called Prote. We're building uh, selling robots. And then I kept doing the same company and moved around around many places. And uh, actually, I sailed around the world uh, with Unreasonable at Sea, which is a uh, business incubator that was located on a ship. So we were sailing around the world as, as we were going. And now I live in Hong Kong and Shenzhen since uh, seven months. And that's where I developed my business. So that's, that's it for the location and, and uh, places where I've been living and places where I've traveled or that have been important uh, for me. So I encourage you to pause the video again now and to pick up uh, later to fill in the rest. Okay, so the next I suggest feeling would be passions. So I was born by the ocean and I also moved to the seaside, uh, to Saint Malo, uh, when I was a kid. And I loved uh, singing, that was just, uh, just happens to be what my parents put me through a, a choir. And then I love to do uh, some martial arts, and because of my uh, proximity to the sea, I started sailing. And then I was interested in the arts, I mean, uh, from music more into like plastic arts, as in drawing and painting and building architecture models. And um, and so, and then because, I, like I said, I went to the Ecole Boulle, it's a craft school, and I was really super keen on cycling, and, and so I developed an interest in mechanics. And later in uh, electronics and encoding, and so uh, that's what led me to do this master degree in interactive design. And uh, right now, my passion and my job really are, um, you know, converging in, into becoming like a work as uh, as a passion. And, and that's the whole point of this uh, of this work that that we're doing now, is to see how you could basically combine the things that you love doing, and you know, make a living out of this. And and how do you make this happen? Okay, so again, I encourage you now to pause the video and to fill in uh, all your passions and the things that, that you've been really super keen on. They can be, uh, you know, like, like official extracurricular activities, I don't know, it could be sports or it could be art or it could be, uh, you know, a very special hobby, I don't know, fishing, it could be, uh, your passion could be about, I don't know, anything geeky, <laughs> anything that, that, that made you who you are. Okay, now you can pause and fill in. Great. So the next is about the people. So maybe your passions or the location or, or your job have been strongly influenced by the people you've met. So in my case, as a child, I was born in the south of France, even though like my French family is from the north of France. And so the people who gave me my first name, which is Spanish, is, uh, I mean, it's Basque, uh, it's Clément and Mamita. It's, it's very, an old couple and they're, they were really amazing amazingly kind people, even though they are not my biological parents, they, they, they acted as such. And, oh sorry. And the next uh, person that was really influential to me is when we moved to, to Paris, uh, there was an old guy that was building microscopes uh, in my street, and uh, he was he was a kind of the new figure for my grandfather, because my grandfather was so far away. And so uh, he was very important for me, and well these are not people, like MIT Press is not people, and Wikipedia is not people, but they are written by people. And so some of them were alive, some of them were, were dead, but nevertheless, they, they have been extremely influential on me and, and on my, my further career. Um, then there was this old, another old man that was very important for me. His name is Nathan Prashovnik, and uh, he survived the death camps, and he wrote a book that he, he asked me to read 
and that was also very influential on my on my life path. And then, of course, uh, relationships. My first girlfriend, uh, my father. Actually, I, I didn't get to talk to for a very long time. You know, family members, philosophers, artists, like anybody you want to put in people, like anybody that was really influential to you. And more recently, it's my coworker. Her name is Gabriela Levine, and we we started a bit of business together. And uh, she's been a, a constant inspiration uh, for me. So you want to uh, pause after after I say maybe a few more words. So in in people, it can be like I was saying, like alive people. So it could be your family, it could be your friends, it could be your coworkers, it could could be a, a professor, or it could be some poets or some artist that just the personalities that that had a or life stories that had a strong influence on you. Now you can pause. Good. So, uh, oh yeah, and most recently, Tom Chi was a very strong influence on me, and so you can see that all of that stuff uh, that I've done in my education, my passion, and the people I've met, uh, kind of converge to feed what I'm doing right now, which is Prote, they are autonomous setting robots, and and I, and I feel very very satisfied doing this this job right now because because I'm I'm my own boss, and uh, it combines all the stuff I love. It combines sailing. It combines traveling, it combines uh, meeting a lot of uh, interesting, uh, inspiring people. And, um, and it's good for the environment. And so, so that, that's really where all, all, all the stuff I love kind of uh, converging. And so the question is, uh, is here, is now what? Now you've filled all your, the top of your half of your page. And you're like, okay, I can see that's, my, that's what I've done in, in my life in the past. But uh, how can I push it further? So just here, I just want to take a little break and, and, and don't want to sound harsh, but you will die. And the one that you love will also die. And so before the people that you love die, you may want to spend some time with them. And there are many places you might be dreaming of going, many things that, that you want to do. And, and, and so, yeah, you only have one life. And so now you see your life in the palm of your hand on this uh, half, half sheet of paper. That's pretty amazing. Um, what are you going to, uh, you know, go through this line that is now? Think of the line in the center of the page as a, as a kind of a filter. There are things that you have done in the past that you want to keep doing. And some of the stuff that you've done in the past, you, you, you just want to stop. You don't, you don't need some of, some of the activities. There are some people in, in your future, in that, some people that are really influential to you and are still alive, and, and you and you never had the courage to get in touch with them. Why? Why? You, you have to call, you have to call, get on the phone and, and give this important phone call that, that has been waiting for maybe a decade and, and I don't know, this author or this artist or, or this, this girl or this guy that, that you're secretly in love with, like, it's, it's more than time, it, that's a long overdue. Or same for location, you, you've been dreaming of going to that place, it's like, what keeps you from doing it? So again, I'm just going to use my my personal life. So I have a company right now, and I know I want to keep it. I want to keep doing it for for a good a good amount of time for the next years to come. And I know that what I really need to find is a good business and and work and R and D partner. And I also aspire to uh, start my own family. So I'm I'm turning. I just turned 30, and I and I feel like I'm I'm feeling more and more ready to to start my own family. And about the location where I am today, Hong Kong and Shenzhen, I. I I feel very happy here, so I, I want to stay here for, for a while. Then I, I had this crazy dream when I was a student. That was actually my, my uh, diploma project, which is to build the International Ocean Station. It's like the space station, but it's for, it's for the oceans. And um, that sounds really crazy, I guess, to, 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 to many people, or crazy ambitious. Uh, but I will, I will comment on that afterwards. And my long-term project is to... Um, create a better relationship between uh, the economy, the financial economy, and the environmental uh, economy, so like environmental systems, and to create something I call liquid economy. And uh, because Africa is uh, going to be industrialized, then I think, uh, I think, I'm not sure, but I have the feeling that I, I will have to be in Africa uh, when I get older, just because of the, the nature of, of the business I'm doing. So but that's just a feeling. So the idea here is that... Um, uh, so I'm going again. Like now, you're going to pause the video, 
and uh, this time really take your time like there's no going from like location first or job first or passion first like this I, I have no advice on this this is really your your little cooking and you, you do it you have to do it your own way so um, yeah pause the video and take take your time to think what you want to keep from your past and what you want to bring forward that that's important for you for you so you can post video now okay so uh, what I really want to say as a as a comment is that you know I was saying the International Ocean Station that sounds like a really crazy ambitious thing and that's okay and uh, you know the plan will change and what's important with making this kind of like grand or super long-term plan is not to follow this plan like step by step because because it will change but but what it brings you is that it brings you some clarity about the person that you have been and the person that you are now and the person you want to be and that can give you some confidence into making these important life decisions and uh, and for me it, ha it has helped me to become a better person for for myself to understand myself better and to be more clear in how I interact with other people and hopefully uh, you know, do projects that are coherent with, with what, I, what I'm passionate about and that, that can have a positive impact on, on the world. Um, also what I have to add as a comment is uh, you may have grand project or humble project. Maybe it matters less suddenly if you succeed in those projects. It, it matters less than actually if you know that what, what you're pursuing is not, I don't know, getting rich for example, but, but uh, you know, fighting for a cause a cause that that you think is worthwhile and and so that that makes you uh, feel more comfortable uh, about you know what is success or failure to you because you know that you are you're contributing to society for 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 something that's maybe hopefully bigger than yourself and the next slide yes sorry so the idea is that you you it's a, this is like a you know like like a business plan for 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 companies like you make business plans or you can make like a life plan, but of course it's going to change. So what I suggest is that you don't spend a lot of time working on this. Is that you just spend half an hour, you know, like drawing your past or the last few important things in in your couple of last years, and then you you draft something and, and then you you do it over and over again. Every time you feel that you have some doubt about the directions you want to take or if you need more clarity about short, medium or long term you can use this very simple and, and, and free method just just a, a pen and a paper and um, now I think that's maybe the most important part of the, of the, of the presentation but what I've tried to show, the, to show you right now is that your life is a network of events uh, as in events as in uh, people, locations or jobs or, or relationships or like people that, 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 that you've met and we are all, you know, these complex networks of, of feelings and experience and stories, and so is everybody else. And so um, you can connect with other people by, for example, like what, they are, what they're passionate about, or by the location, or just who they are. And, and so the idea is that if, you, if you're dreaming alone, it's only a dream, but if you dream with other people, it becomes a reality. And so what I what I would love is to if if you guys on YouTube could you know like do this exercise for yourself, and and share it if you can put in the comment um, you know some links to some uh, to any, a, a picture a photograph, uh, of or screen capture, of of your of your life drawing then I, th I think it would be very inspirational for others, and um, yeah and it will encourage others to you know to do the same and and start to feel altogether confident about our aspirations. So the, just, just to wrap it up, the idea is to, one step one is to draw your past, understand where you're standing in the present, and you know, choose what you're going to be making for the rest of your, of your life. And that step one is to connect to yourself, connect your life events. The second step is to connect to others. So it means once you've acquired this clarity, then you can you know, connect to other people. And, and because you know what you want, then it, like everything becomes so much more clear and then you don't you know raise expectation that that you cannot meet with other people or or um, it just makes maybe your life simpler and you feel you feel more comfortable and the third is that if you if you find people that that have the same dreams and aspiration well then you may actually want to do this exercise collaboratively as in you could see how your life goals uh, correspond to other people's life goals 
So I was saying that I use this method for personal development, but you can also use this for, you know, company development. For example, like you you want to see, you want to check if your coworkers have the same objective uh, in personal development and the company development, or you could use that in your in your personal relationship with your with your wife, your or, or with your kids. What 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 do the members in your family want uh, if you, if you're going to spend your life together? So, um, so I just showed you how to do it with a pen and pencil, or do it on the Google Google Drawing. But there are more, uh, I would say, advanced way to do that. If you if you want to add uh, more detail, so for example, if you're working uh, just with with paper in a tangible way, you can use paper and pencil and eraser, which we which is what you might have done the, the first time. But next time, or if you don't want to have to draw it all over again, you could just work on post-its. So you could work on stickies, or on dry erase board, or with magnets, or or pins. The second is that you could work it, uh, work on it uh, online and co collaboratively. So I, I've been doing that a lot because I, I work in open source uh, hardware development, and so it, uh, you know, it helps us to make sure that we have the same objectives over time. And another really great software is called Prezi, and Prezi allows you to zoom in to like incredible uh, small levels. So you, you could add a ton of content, and uh, it would still be. Uh, uh, digestible, and you would be able to uh, see what matters to you by just writing, you know, like letters or important things in big letters and less important things in small letters. So that's for the, the people who want to have like a very comprehensive map of their of their life. Uh, MindMeister is a quick um, diagram uh, software, and Asana Insta and if you combine it with Instagant, so that's more like team and project management, and they are very intuitive uh, ways of um, managing your tasks day to day and brainstorming to develop a project and to like, kill tasks and you could lay them in a Gantt chart uh, if you combine Asana and Instagant so we use that in our company to uh, uh, to you know develop m to brainstorm and develop milestones and you know and like lo look back at what we've done and be effective in, in collaboration and then of course you can work offline on vector software like Illustrator or Inkscape Pages for Mac or Microsoft World or OmniGraphle. Again, that's more uh, Mac-oriented uh, software. So um, I hope this presentation was helpful for you and uh, that you have a better grasp now of, of your past, your present, and and maybe um, get more insight of what you want to do for, for your future. Um, this presentation is, is online, so you can leave comments on under the YouTube video in the, in the comments on YouTube, or you could go uh, on this link and uh, you could leave comments on, on each of the slides if you have suggestions of how I could improve it. And uh, well, thank you very much. Um, I prefer if you send me uh, comments on, on YouTube, not, not by personal email, but that's my website there. And uh, I will, and also in the, in the comments, there is all the links to all the softwares that I, that I mentioned. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching.